And welcome back, everybody. Sitting here at the uh, fixit.app website. This is the uh, Satisfactory Mod Community's repository for mods. Because today we're going to be talking about doing a modded series. Something I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I wanted to wait for update 6 to hit the early access branch because some mods aren't looking to be updated until this happened and finally we get that so we're looking at doing some modding here uh, one of the first things I would recommend downloading if you want to do modding yourself is this right here. I'll leave a link to this website in the description down below. But the Satisfactory Mod Manager will get you the little app program that allows you to access the same repository of mods, but through a small little program on your computer and it'll download and manage all your mods for you instead of having to manually download and put them into the folders yourself. And it makes it so much nicer that way because if we pop over to the mod manager, which I already have downloaded and installed because I've been using it for a while, you can see that here your install location and what it's through as I'm here on Steam. I do have it also on Epic, but I'm using my Epic account as the experimental now. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because on Steam, I couldn't have both the experimental and the early access installed at the same time. And I wanted to be able to play the experimental, but run with the, but also log in and, or jump in and play some of my current saves still in the early access branch and not worry about screwing things up because some mods weren't working. But I'm going to talk you through some of the mods here. Some of the ones that I find are key to my play style when I'm modding. Okay, the first one here we'll, I'll be talking about is the Smart Mod. This one will allow you to do large platforms instead of doing a single line of 10 foundations at a time. You can do a 10x10, 10 20x20, 10, 20 20, 200x200. I remember one time doing a 20 by 100 That hurt the frame rates quite a bit. But once you start getting some of those items some of those materials stop flying off your screen. Your frame rates will come back. Just be aware of that. Um, for me, another key one that I like to have is the container screens. Just puts a, puts a nice little screen on every container you build to tell you what's in it. I'm going to be trying out the new Z fighting, get rid of that little... <clears throat> a little bit of flickering from clipping walls and foundations through each other. Hyper boosters. Because the hyper tubes, while effective, if you're doing a long hyper tube run across the map, it would be nice to be able to get there faster. So, hyper boosters. Next one will be the early hover pack. It's unlocked as soon as you install the mod, but until you hit tier three and have access to the uh, versatile frameworks and steel pipes, you can't actually build it because those are two of the materials that you need to build the 
Oh, and rotors. I forgot. Those are three ingredients that are needed to build the hover pack in this form. While not necessary, the All Nodes Pure mod just simply converts all of the nodes in the world to pure. So you don't have to worry about what rates you're going to get out of each node. I have it installed but disabled which is what this pause button, pause icon is for. I could click that and activate it, but I'm just going to leave it inactive for right now. The 150 inventory slots, plus a few extra hand slots right at the start of the game can be real nice. With all that gone through, let's jump into the game and I'll... Talk about some of the other things you can do with your mods before you even start playing. Alright, now that we got the game loaded up here, new splash screen here for update 6, I'm sure some of you are already familiar with. But uh, come over here to this left hand side, you got the little mods thing here. This will tell you all the mods you've got currently installed and using. You may find some ones you don't recognize because they are a, uh, mods that get automatically installed because they are depend other mods depend upon them to use. Like, uh, let me see here. Let me find one of them. The Satisfactory Mod Loader is one of the key ones because that allows mods to be used um doesn't list all of the dependency mods but it lists all your mods you've selected for sure and some of these mods will even let you adjust things like the daisy chain everything mod you can set a minimum number of connections for everything. Your machines, power poles, power generators. So you can have everything daisy chained together. You can take this slider and say, hey, two, I want to be able to connect them to 50 different things at once. Me, personally, I think I'm going to stick with two. I don't want to make a wire mess everywhere. I'm just going to run power lines between everything. Uh, uh, hyper boosters. Changes how fast each one of the various hyper tube entrances that you can unlock through this mod. How fast they boost you forward through the hyper tube. No more need for the hypertube cannons. Um, expanded hover range for the hover pack. You can adjust how far each one of the poles will reach, the rails, and then all the other buildings. How far you can be away from them in meters before you lose connection. Once you're happy with how you got everything set up, just pop over here, click continue, or start a new game. Start from scratch again. You can skip the intro. I'm sure you've seen that enough times. That'll be all for now. Until next time, remember, have fun.